going on guys it is a hot ass day out here like wow um doing more tests with the transmitter so uh consuming less than one watt and we had a breakthrough another breakthrough I set up this wireless coil here grounded one end that's a bucking coil connected this other repeater coil slash resonator just it just connects to the node point of the uh, of the transmitter it's literally that simple and then this wireless receiver coil is getting us 92 volts at 95 milliamps this right here is um, this coil right here is outputting over unity so I'll turn it up and show you what it can do so right now we're consuming I'm gonna try and keep it under 2 watts consuming under 2 watts and with this special repeater coil it's boosting the power to this resonant receiver by three or four fold we have 166 milliamps short circuit current and if I just bring my hand near it it's so sensitive the current will go up and so we have 170 milliamps short circuit current and our voltage went to 148 and this is the interesting thing we now can run LED light bulbs from this receiver coil without placing any form of strain on the transmitter. So I will connect that and this bulb will light as it should light. The connections are all shit. I know this one absolutely lights. I'm going to back up a bit to avoid detuning. Trying to get it tuned. So that bulb is lit. Hold on, I think I have the wrong bulb. I think I was using this one. That's right, the others were for high power. I have it set up so it can actually output high power now. Sorry, I just woke up and it's kind of hot and I'm a bit out of it. So. All right, we got that connected. Next, we'll get it all tuned up. Okay, so we are using less than three watts of power to light this LED bulb. And when I disconnect the load, there's no effect on the power. It'll actually drop. But the weird thing is when I bring my hand near it, the power consumption increases and the bulb gets brighter. Like, I'm not sure if you can see that. But yeah, when I disconnect the bulb, power consumption goes up. When I connect the bulb, power consumption goes down. How strange is that? And when that effect occurs, I have even more uh, radiant energy effects. And keep in mind, I didn't even combine the output of multiple resident receiver coils. I could, in theory, get a lot more power. I'll show this on a little incandescent bulb. He lights happily, very brightly. I'll try and film the power effect that's demonstrated. Power consumption drops when loads are run. I can get my hand away from it. But anyway, I just want to show this quick, dirty video, and uh, things are getting real interesting. So, this receiver is outputting over Unity just by itself with my special circuit, my nonlinear high Q negative resistance circuits. And yeah, just wanted to throw that out there. Um, 
I can also run a motor at this point through the ground point and the negative of the DC supply between the rectifier. So I'll connect this motor up if I can do it one handed. This motor's running away happy. And I can also light an LED bulb. LED bulb lit, motor running happy. Get it tuned down. Even less power. Assuming 1.8 watts. Motor's running away. Happy. Bulb is lit. And we still have radiant energy effects. So, I can just keep building more of these coils, get them in tune, combine their output, along with the circuit where an AC rectifier goes between, earth, between the ground of the DC supply and a separate earth ground. And I can combine all those outputs to get all the power I want in theory. So, stay tuned and it's getting interesting.